got to Gopal. It was the night of Janmashtami. It was already past nine o'clock in the night. Along with all the women of the society, the entire Bal Gopal army had also gathered at Gattu Chinki's house. Different kinds of fruits and various dishes were kept in the temple of Lord Krishna. Seeing which, the children's mouths started watering. Children, have some patience. There are a lot of things to do yet. We have to pray to Lord Krishna, sing hymns for him, and also to listen the story about Lord Krishna's birth. On hearing about the story, the desire to eat the offerings among children completely vanished. This story is of Dwapar Yuga. In Dwapar Yuga, there was a king named Ugrasen. He had a tyrannical, mischievous son. and whose name was kans kans means kans mama yes yes the same kans mama sinatrant evil kans he used to commit many types of atrocities on the citizens of the civilization so how kans became kans mama this we will get to know in this story kans was very evil by deceiving his father he had become the king of the civilization and he used to oppress the people he had a sister whose name was devaki kans loved devaki very much devaki who's that i have heard this name before that's lord krishna's mother but lord krishna's mother was maya yashoda right Will you keep talking like this or will you let your grandmother speak? Just keep listening to the story. Grandma will clear all your doubts. So, what happened was Devaki got married to King Vasudev and after putting Devaki and Vasudev in a chariot, Kans left for his sister-in-law's house. Kans was running the chariot. When suddenly the weather started changing there was storm and lightning and there was a voice from the sky which was an akashvani Vishyas Kans your sister Devaki whom you are carrying in the chariot her eighth son will be the reason for your death Oh god then then what Kans dumped Devaki and Vasudev in the prison of his kingdom and every time whenever Vasudev and Devaki had a child the guards would inform Kans and Kans would go there and kill that child and while doing so Kans mercilessly killed Seven children of Devaki. How oh, sad! I don't want to hear this story. Hey, Jinky, keep listening. Now the hero of our story, Lord Krishna, will make his grand entry. Yes, Lord Vishnu was about to be born as the eighth son of Devaki and Vasudev to end Kans's life. That means now Kans will kill the eighth son too. No, no. How can anybody kill God? Lord Vishnu made a plan with Mata Maya. Mata Maya became a little girl and was born to Nand, Vasudev's friend, living across the Yamuna River. Here, Lord Vishnu took birth from the womb of Devaki. As the eighth son was born, all the guards fell asleep. The doors of the prison opened automatically. It started raining outside heavily. And then Vasudev put the child in a basket and left for Nandaji's house while crossing the Yamuna River. Nagadevta saved the child from the rain. with his wood as soon as the child stepped touch the water of the river it made way for him right we have seen all this on the tv exactly right 
Vasudev ji handed over his child to mother Yashoda taking the elusive child born to her he came back to the prison again then guns came and tried killing the girl thinking it's an ordinary child but that girl was maya took the form of maya and said hey foolish guns no matter how hard you try you will never survive because the child who will end your life has been born on earth now your death is certain that eighth kid was no one other than lord vishnu's incarnation ar murli manohar kanha who freed himself from the clutches of kans and was doing little mischiefs with nand and nandarani yashoda Now I understand Lord Krishna had two mothers Devaki and Yashoda Time flew in these chit chats and it was midnight 12 suddenly there were fireworks in the sky the atmosphere became exciting and the auspicious time of Lord Krishna's birth began everyone worshiped duly together Lord Krishna was welcomed and then everyone started eating the offering with devotion Makhan chor Hari and Pari both of them are sitting in their grandmother's lap grandmother was singing hymns women from the society had also joined Govinda bolo Hari Gopal bolo Govinda bolo Hari Gopal bolo Radha Ramana Hari Gopal bolo Radha Ramana Hari Gopal bolo It's about to be 12 Granny Kanha ji's name was Hari like that of Bhaiya Yes Gudiya Kanha ji had lots of names Gopal Hari Kanha Krishna Makhan Chor Makhan Chor Yes Kanha ji used to steal makhan and eat That's why we call him Makhan Chor. Then Papa arrives. Let's go. It's already twelve. Shall we start the puja? Puja begins. Then puja finishes. Mummy gives prasad to everybody. All the women, after eating prasad, go back to their own houses. Hari, you come with me to the kitchen. Pari, you go and sleep with Granny. You also go. Papa, Pari, and Grandmother go off to sleep. Hari goes with his mummy in the kitchen. There is a decorated pot in the kitchen. Hari, tomorrow the dahi pot has to be broken. Let's go and we both will fill makhan in the pot. Mummy and Hari together fill Gopal Kala in the pot. After filling the pot, mummy closes the pot with flowers and keeps it in the fridge. Come on, I'm going to sleep. You also sleep. Good night. Mummy goes away. Then Hari thinks My name is also Hari. Kanha ji's name was also Hari. Kanha ji is called Makhan Chor. Then why doesn't anybody call me Makhan Chor? An idea strikes Hari. Idea. If I steal the Makhan from the vessel, then like Kanha everyone will call me Makhan Chor. Hari opens the fridge and takes out the pot. He takes out the makhan from the pot and pours it in a large vessel and covers the pot with flowers. Now I should hide the vessel in my bedroom. Hari hides the vessel in his room and sleeps. Next day in front of the society people gather in a big field. There are beatings of drum and cymbal. Pot is hanging. Hari and Pari are there with their grandmother. Other children are dancing. Okay kids enough of dancing. Now break the dahi handi. Hearing Papa's words, Hari feels happy. Now the fun will begin. All the fat boys from the society gather round the pot and climb on each other to reach the pot. On the very top was Golu Bhaiya. Golu puts his hand inside the pot. The pot was fully empty. Oh shit! Suddenly, Golu Bhaiya's balance trembles. And everybody falls down. By seeing this, everyone laughs. Stealing makhan is not that easy, Golu. Try once again. Get up, Grandma. To steal makhan, there 
should be Makan. Khandi is completely empty. What? How this happened? What? Yesterday night I and Hari together had filled the pot. Why Hari? Who stole the Makan? Who is the Makan Chor? Listening to his grandmother, Hari starts dancing. I am the Makan Chor. I am the Makan Chor. Say me. I am Makan Chor. Oh Makan Chor, what are you saying? Grandma, yesterday night I stole all the Makan. So that everybody call me Makan Chor. Yes. This boy is so silly. You are a Makan Chor, but you are a silly Makan Chor. Why are you saying like this, Grandma? Silly. Kanha ji never stole Makan alone. He used to steal Makan with his friends and also used to feed them. But you have made your friends unhappy. Go and bring Makan. I will bring, but there is a condition. What? I will break the dahi handi. Hari, you are small now. Break it next year. Kanhanji was also small. His parents never stopped him. Hearing Hari, everyone started laughing. Go, Makan Chor, bring the Makan. You only break the pot. Yes. Hari brings the Makan pot. Mummy pours Makan in it. Kids gather again and climb on each other. On the top, there was Hari, and he breaks the dahi handi. जय बोलो माखन चोर की जय अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं तो इन्हें लाइक करें कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें